What is Hannah hey, folks welcome back to the channel? So last night you saw me messing with this exhaust here. Saw me messing with this exhaust here. Today I got the uh, flanges I ordered in. And I ordered uh, two pieces from a company called Walker. One is a 41724. And the other larger one is 41726. Um, this is the donut for my stock exhaust for the CRV motor and as you can see it fits pretty much perfectly in there I think this is kind of the fit that you want um, And it kind of fits inside here a little a little loose, but I mean if If it was torqued down all the way, I think that would work as well But I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually use this piping just because it's um, a little more close to stock and it fits the the donut a little better um, this is the kind of the way that I anticipate the uh, exhaust to fit over the the donut so I'm gonna go ahead and use this piece the problem is it's a two inch inner dynam di dynamiter it's a two inch inner diameter and this is a two and a half inch inner diameter um, tubing or piping I mean um, so I'm going to need to get me something that goes from a uh, two inch outer diameter to a two and a half inner. And so it'll be something like this that slides up in there. This is a two and a half outer diameter and then something that is a two inch diameter um, inner on this end. So that's where I'm at with this right now. I'm going to go ahead and go to the store and come back. All right, so I'm back from the store. I got the slip sleeve things, whatever they're called. And I'm starting to put the exhaust back on so I can mock up the distance that I need. I guess it would help if I had the exhaust flipped around. Alright, so I thought this was going to be like a longer video, but I pretty much have it figured out like this. I should have mocked this up last night before I went to the store today. Because honestly, I think I should just go and get a straight pipe that goes from this size back. I don't know. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is take this larger flange that I was going to return and just cut it off right here where, where it starts to get uh, thinner. And I think that might actually fit over or inside this slip flex seal or flex um, pipe thing right here. And then I can just slide that over and that will be a perfect fit. I'll get rid of some of the edge of this just to make sure I have a good solid fit over the donut there. All right, so um, I kind of just uh, bashed in the edge of this uh, slide piece here and then just tapped it down uh, so it stick to this one. This is not going anywhere by itself. And then this piece will slide in here. All right, let's see if this works. Wow. That is going to be perfect. So there you go. All right. I know I didn't really show too much. Um, there wasn't really much to it. Just a little bit of hammering. I cut down the edge of this. Um, beveled part right here that goes over the donut because I was only going to be utilizing the end of this anyways because it's such a big piping and I think I can just get away with yep doing a little slip action there so I'm gonna go ahead and get a permanent marker real quick and I'm gonna draw a line right here draw a line right here That should be fine. Just doing something like that every time. 
sick. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this welded up. All right, so I got this all mounted up here. Um, I'm just gonna get a uh, tack weld on, so I'm not gonna really prepare this too much. I'm just gonna get a nice little tack weld going on both sides and then uh, test fit it again, and then I'll hit it with the wire brush and finish it up. Solid. Cause once it's once the bolts are holding it down, I think that should be okay. Cause it's not like there's tension on anything but those rubber rubber um, bushings for the exhaust. So I think this is a W, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get some hardware and see if this will. Uh, line up properly and then uh, I don't know maybe do a little test fire right there real quick all right so I got some different hardware this is actually the hardware that I was using on my other exhaust setup I just thought I could get away with using like the OEM stuff for a change because I do, I do like the spring loaded action but in theory this is gonna have the same effect because it's too short so as it gets torqued down it's gonna be pulling there's going to be tension on this bolt here and I'll throw in a lock washer just for good measure when I'm finally done welding it up but for now <laughs> all right sheesh that thing is solid that's a solid unit my boy you guys want to hear what it sounds like I'm pretty stoked you guys this thing is definitely coming out the back and um, it's pretty quiet it is pretty quiet it's definitely quieter than open header that's for damn sure my neighbors must love me right now I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the car and uh, finish welding this thing up These welds are actually uh, a lot better than that, that guy I was paying now. You know, I'm just doing the slip over stuff. It's actually looking pretty pretty halfway decent. All right, so there it is. All welded up, brushed off, ready to be installed for the last time before maiden voyage. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this back on and then that's gonna end this video folks. Oh, well, I guess I didn't record that but um yep just got it back installed and I'm gonna do a final startup for the night and I'm gonna finally eat some dinner it's like almost midnight. I guess I didn't record that either. I don't know what the hell is wrong with my camera but it keeps turning off. I'm not done filming yet. stoked you guys it looks pretty good under there all 
All right, so that's where I'm going to end this video, you guys. Like I said, I'm pretty stoked on the, the end result with it. Um, I'm definitely feeling a little more confident with my welding skills, which is good. And um, I think I'm making a lot of progress, you know, from a personal standpoint. And if all things go as planned, um, if I can get back from doing what I need to do up at the county, um, and I got enough time, hopefully I can fix, finish the uh, interior of the car outside and then once that's done, um, I'm going to be taking this car and putting it outside and going for a little test drive. So stay tuned for all that folks. We are getting close to the end here um, with the B-Swap. Actually, you know what? The B-Swap project is done. I did it. Oh, nope. I need a drive shaft. Damn it. All right. Shoo. Still got some content for you. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night here. And um, yeah, hopefully I can keep this roll going with these videos, rolling them out. And I uh, will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.